Hey, what's up guys? JD Venom here, back with you for another WWE 2K17 Best and Worst Community Creations here this week. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and like Facebook page, where both links are down below. Tell your friends and family, and come and join the JD Venom Nation here on YouTube. And uh, before we begin here, tomorrow night, episode 2, WCW Reborn, uh, that is my universe mode. Uh, we had a great out showing last week here uh, for a lot of people who came out to watch, so I do appreciate that. So it's going to be tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time in the main event for tomorrow night. First round for the WCW Championship Tournament. It is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Brett the Hitman Park. It is going to be a fantastic match, and I want you guys to be there live to see the greatness that's going to be tomorrow night. But uh, that's tomorrow night. We are here today to talk about the top three best and worst community creations, and let's not waste any more time. We're going to start with the top three best, as always. And coming in at number three this week is Ray Mysterio Jr. What a Fucking awesome creation this is. Good lord. Everything is so faithful with Rey Mysterio. To the iconic mask. To the tattoos. To, you know, his, his stature itself. His actual build. It is just very reminiscent of Rey Mysterio. Even the face scan is there. The face scan through the mask. You can definitely tell that is Rey Mysterio. Now, one thing I do want to say about this here is that I, I don't know. Does he look tall to you guys? Maybe, I mean, maybe it's just me, but he looks kind of tall um, from what it will be normally, you know, where he'll be coming in. Because I know Rey Mysterio is like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five at the most. I mean, he's not a very tall man, but he looks like 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, that's, that's only my great complaint, but I don't know if that's just me that seeing that. But um, I was using him a little bit, playing with his moveset. I mean, I know we don't get to see much of the actual moveset from these wrestlers here, but... It's all there, you know, uh, Springboard, Hernan Karana, 619, uh, Splashes, and, you know, uh, Springboard Drop Kicks, things of that nature there from uh, Rey Mysterio, and um, very solid creation. That's all I can really say about this Rey Mysterio. Very, very solid, and he does come in at number three today, this week, one of our top three best and worst community creations, on top three best, I should say. But coming in at number two is... Jushin Thunder Liger, the legend, the legend in Japanese wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling is Jushin Thunder Liger, and um, you know, quick story about this, when I was growing up, I always thought he was some type of American wrestler in, you know, in just, uh, you know, a crazy you know, get up, you know, with a mask and everything, but, you know, it took me probably about, you know, probably about three or four years to realize, oh, no, he's actually Japanese. Um, this was in my younger years, though. I was, you know, I was only like, like six or seven at the time, so, you know, I didn't really know too much about wrestling. I was very, very casual at the time, but uh, to the actual creation itself, just look at him. Just, just fucking look at him, man. Like, <laughs> it looks like someone just, I don't know how long, this had to take a very long time to do, this had to take a very long time to do to get everything faithfully right. To the mask, to the actual attire, to his body structure. Every single thing about him is just faithfully correct. I mean, I was actually playing as Jushin Thunder Liger, and I set up a match of him against Brian Pillman in this WCW arena, and it just had reminiscences like WCW early Nitro days where these two would go at it, and they used to go at it a lot. Uh, back before then, back before Nitro, back in like 92 and stuff. But uh, Jush Another Liger comes in at number two this week at a fucking awesome creation um, with Jush and Another Liger. But that is just number two, guys. Coming in at number one in a fucking impressive call. It is the Samoan Bulldozer. Ooh, my God. I miss Umaga, I miss Alejandro, um, Estrada, you know what I mean, I, 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 I just, I, I really, really miss Armando Alejandro Estrada, I forgot his first name was Armando, but 
by you guys know what I'm talking about, but we're talking about Omaga here, man. Look at him! Look at him! Come on, man! Like, this this has to be one of the three best calls so far this year. Uh, stuff between him and maybe Rick Steiner. I mean, I really love the Rick Steiner, if you guys remember that. Uh, you know, about a month back, the Rick Steiner. But it, it, him and Omaga is like probably like at least top two this year so far, as far as uh, best claws that I've seen here, but god damn, man, everything with the tattoos, with the Samoa tattoo, with the Omaga uh, face print on the side of the tights, his body structure, and his hair, I know his hair is probably a little bit too long to some people's liking, but to me, if he were to be alive today, his hair would be that long if he was still doing the same exact gimmick, even with the, you know, with the Samoan spike on the uh, right thumb there, amazing call here, um, whoever made that, I am giving you a round of applause for that, because this is fucking awesome, and Umaga comes in at number one this week, wow, three awesome calls this week, and I got three shit, shitty, shit, shit calls this week as well for our top three worst comedian creations, and let's start off with number three, coming in at number three this week, is Tajiri. Yes, Yoshihiro Tajiri comes in at number three this week. And I want to say this first. One, positive. There's, all, there's, all, there's always some positives about, you know, some, some bad calls at least. At least I do find some positives in uh, some bad calls. I really like his pants. I really like the pants. The pants are fucking awesome, I think. Outside of that, no. I'm not dealing with it. First of all, you gave him a, a Hideo Tommy shirt. I don't understand why. I understand why you did it because, oh, oh he's, he's, he's Japanese, so he's Hideo Tommy. Oh, no one's going to notice. Yeah, we're going to notice. It seems like a lot of people, when they make cause, they're more focused on the tire than the actual face itself. I mean, you want to be focused on, you know, on both things, but you got the face is the number one thing. I can kind of forgive the attire a little bit, the attire is shitty a little bit, but the face is spot on. You know, yeah, I may have a gripe about the, the entire little bit, but if it looks like him, then I won't have much issue with it. This looks nothing like Tajiri. This looks like Papiri. That's a bad joke. That was a bad joke. All right, bad joke. But anyway, you, you guys get my point. This this looks nothing like the man. Um, and another thing, and maybe somebody can answer this for me in the chat. Like, why? Oh, why? Why is his face dark in certain spots? And you can see like hair, like that's not actually in the game, but like it's just actually from the face can. I, I mean, I know it's like from the face can and stuff, but there, is there no way to like revise that or fix that at all? Um, guys, let me know in the chat about that, and um, I'll probably get a little bit more insight about that. But nevertheless, Tajiri comes in at number three here this week as one of our top three worst comedic creations. Coming in at number two is. I love Kevin Thorne's theme song so much that I had to just do that. But Kevin Thorne comes in at number two this weekend. Well, this doesn't look like Kevin Thorne. It looks like Evan Bourne. That no, doesn't look like Evan Bourne at all. But another bad joke. Hey, bad jokes. Look at this. I mean, I understand what you're trying to do. You were trying to go with the black and red vampire gimmick, and you know, but no face scan. Face scan's not there. The attire is basically Undertaker's attire. You can see he's wearing Undertaker's attire. He's put a jacket over it. Ooh, very, you know, very creative there. Just put Undertaker's attire on it. Just put a jacket over it. Very good. Outside of that, it, it doesn't look menacing. I think. Uh, I know Kevin Thorne was white and pale, but. I mean, maybe, maybe just me, maybe, maybe it's a little bit too pale, it's a little bit too pale for my liking, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but, um, yeah, this, and he's coming out to the, the Braun Strowman entrance as well, walking very slowly and methodically to the ring, and it's, it is just like, ah, uh, just, it leaves a bad, bad taste in your mouth, I have a shitty ass taste in my mouth right now, and it is shit, it is shit right now, from what I'm looking at here right now with uh, Kevin Thorne, it, like, it doesn't even look scary. I know, uh, like, oh, Jesus Christ, man. I, I'm so glad I did not find an aerial 
I'm so glad I did not find that aerial because I will be pretty pissed off on if this guy made an aerial too. They probably would have made aerial black or something if that was the case. But uh, Kevin Thorne comes in at number two here this week. And coming in at number one is Rick Steiner. Oh, God. So I mentioned Rick Steiner earlier. If you guys remember a, a few weeks ago, Rick Steiner came in at number one as my top best comedic creation. This Rick Steiner here comes in at number one as our worst. And simply because that I seen the other Rick Steiner and I know what kind of Rick Steiner can be made. This looks this looks like a Rick Steiner, you know, mint like crisis call. You know what I mean? Now if anything, they got the jacket, they got the Michigan emblem on the jacket, but it's like it's like outside of that it is fucking god awful. He's wearing purple with like you know, like fucking birds on his fucking tights. I don't know what the fuck that is. Not even a correct tattoo. He, he's mi he's mixed and mixed matching, I should say. His boots to his actual singlet. His singlet's like purple-ish, and he's wearing yellow boots. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? So, you know, you've seen a Rick Steiner where it could be awesome and fucking great to a shitty-ass Rick Steiner that looks nothing like him. It is a fucking joke. It looks like this Rick Steiner is, you know, been doing some hard, hard drugs, been doing some liquor, and it is just pathetic. It is absolutely fucking god fucking awful. In order to make this, I think they should, I don't want to say they should, they should kill themselves. That's a little bit too extreme. I think that's extreme. But you should think about your life at this point. You should think about your life. Do I, do I think I want to make calls on WWE 2K17 and upload them anymore? I don't, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, but killing, killing themselves is like, that's way too far, actually, but, oh, god damn it, this is fucking, just look at him, just look at him, he really, look, he really is a dog-faced gremlin, and that's not a good way, either, but guys, that is it, that is it, Rick Starr comes out at number one here this week, that is it, if you guys did like the video, definitely leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, be sure to follow me on Twitter, and like the Facebook page, and be sure to come out tomorrow, guys, come out tomorrow, for the WCW Reborn Nitro, Thursday Nitro, tomorrow. And it's going to be fucking fun, guys. But that is it, guys. Please rate, please subscribe, please drop a comment. I'll see you guys later, and see you guys tomorrow night. Peace out.